Breaking overnight, gunfire in the Metro East ends with an officer being shot. Where it happened and what we know about his condition. A crippling crash sends a 14-year-old girl to the hospital in Ferguson. A look at the damage as state troopers shut down the road for hours. Rockwood under fire. Why a mother and son are suing the school district this morning. Temperatures warm from here on out until the end of the week, but there's also a chance of rain beginning tomorrow and also on Friday night. We'll check that and what next week holds. Designing a dream. They bring me into a better artist and um, they, they bring out the things that I don't see in myself. How this mother and daughter duo in O'Fallon are changing the game when it comes to the tattoo industry. This is Today in St. Louis, focused on you. We begin on this Wednesday morning with a live look down Marcus Street at the Crows. And of course, the Gateway Arts all lit up right down there on the waterfront. Good morning, everybody. It is Wednesday, February the 7th. I'm Randy Knott. And I'm Michelle Lee. We just want to say thanks for joining us, including those of you who might be watching us on 5 Plus. We have Paul Cook keeping an eye on some closures and other incidents potentially. Mm -hmm. uh, and then Anthony Slaughter, a little bit cooler today. Warmer. Oh, I mean warmer. Yes, warmer today. Cooler. Warmer trend. No, yes. What you mean is Anthony's cool. Yeah, I'm cool. Anthony, That's it. Anthony's <laughs> feeling cooler cool. today. <laughs> um, warming trend today. I don't know why. It's Friday. Know. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and then this weekend it does turn cooler. So <laughs> thank you. you. Know, we will get there. Yeah. Uh, but enjoy the warm up. It's going to be nice. I mean, how often are we in February and we're talking 60 to 70 right, degrees? Not. So. Uh, yeah, this will be some good stuff here to end the week. It's all because of an area of low pressure that's out west. We've been telling you about this one for a good four days now. This is day five of rain out there. It's starting to move and ahead of it. You have the warm air that's known as a ridge and that's what we'll have for today. The warm air sliding on in. You'll also notice the cloud cover around satellite showing that quite a bit of clouds this morning. 36 our numbers fallen at Lambert just a little bit, but we have 40s coming on in from the west. Warrington, Sullivan and Rolla all in the 40s. Meanwhile, low 30s out towards Litchfield, even some 20s out towards Flora. So we'll get there. Numbers are for all of us headed up near 60 later on. But again, mostly cloudy and then warmer from here on out. In fact, we'll be up near 70 by Friday. We'll talk about that part of the forecast coming up. Let's get over to Paul Cook. You were talking about a closure earlier. Uh, what's going on now? We had a rough beginning to the commute, but if you're just waking up and thinking, OK, what's going on here? You're going to be fine out there on the roads right now. You can see it. Bush Stadium here and 6440 moving. We're looking to the west 64 at the stadium, and we had a lot of attention in this area yesterday because of all the work being done on the uh, east side of the Poplar Street Bridge. But look at this. You can tell 270 at 6440 as a move a little further in at 170. Same story. So nothing major right now. We'll take a look at it and talk more traffic in just a few minutes. Thanks so much. Breaking overnight, Metro East police are looking for the person who shot a Granite City officer. This happened just eight hours ago on Del Mar near 24th. And that's where we find our Mercedes McKay this morning. She is live on the scene. Mercedes, what more have you been able to learn since 430 this morning? Well, Rennie and Michelle, I will let you know that minutes ago, this scene just kind of changed drastically here. Police did just before 6 a.m. break down the crime scene tape. Ever since 430 this morning, this intersection we've been at at 25th and Del Mar has been closed. It's been closed for hours, but it is now finally open nearly eight hours later. Now, if you can see behind me here, the fire truck, there was an EMS and fire truck that just came in. They're leaving right now behind me. We're not sure if this is a related incident or a different incident, but we did see a couple of EMS um, people go into a home here. So still an active investigation. A couple of police cars are still here, but again, the scene has changed here since when we got here at 430 this morning. Right now, police tell us that the officer who was shot has non life threatening injuries and the suspect is still on the loose. Now take a look at your screen here. This is seen the scene video from when we were here a little before 1 a.m. overnight. Now, as you can see, it was very active. The amount of manpower was just tremendous. Our five on your side photographer tells me there were about 20 officers and three departments who responded. Granite City, the Madison County Sheriff's Department and Illinois State Police. Here's what we know right now. Granite City officers responded to a call on Del Mar Avenue and 24th Street just after 10 last night. Police say the shooter fired at officers hitting one of them. 
The officers then returned fire, and that's when the shooter got away. Police then blocked off the area while they investigated and tried to talk to neighbors to see if they saw or heard anything. Again, this scene just developed and changed moments ago, a little before 6 a.m. when y'all came to me on the air. The intersection here at 25th and Del Mar is now back open after nearly eight hours of being closed, but it's still an active and ongoing investigation. Again, the officer who was shot a little after 10 p.m., police tell us, is expected to be okay, and that suspect is still on the loose. Live in Granite City, Mercedes McKay, five on your side. Thanks so much, Mercedes. We are following more breaking news this morning. A 14 year old girl is critically injured in an early morning crash in Ferguson. This happened just before 2:30 this morning on Florissant Road outside of Cotton Branch Mortuary. This morning, there are a lot of questions as the Missouri Highway Patrol continues its investigation. No word on what caused this crash, but five on your side is focused on staying on top of all of these stories all morning. Once we learn more information, we will share them with you on air and online at KSDK.com. This morning, two Oakville High School seniors are behind bars after being accused of killing two people, including a 15 year old and another person in his late teens. 19 year old Tyler Coleman and 18 year old Zachary Huff are charged with two counts of second degree murder. Police say the shooting stemmed from a drug deal involving marijuana cartridges. A third person was also shot and is recovering right now in the hospital this morning. Now, according to our Five on Your Side stats, there's been 11 kids shot in the St. Louis County and city area so far this year. Five were shot in the county, six were shot in city limits. As crimes involving youth continues to surge, a local teenage offender is on a path to turning his life around. 16 year old Reese Randall is out of custody on probation following an armed robbery last year. He says after getting high with a friend, they robbed a convenience store in Sunset Hills. While behind bars, Randall met a mentor, an ex convict who helped him realize he could do better. I was hanging around the wrong people, and two, it was it was a dumb decision. That first week and everything, like when I heard my Bert or my mom's voice and everything like that, and I was talking to her, it just broke me. Like the pain in her voice and everything like that, that just hurt, and I was like, no, nah, I gotta I gotta fix this. Right now, Randall has a job and he's working to get his GED. New this morning, a former Eureka High School football player and his mom have filed a lawsuit against the Rockwood School District. Now, according to our partners at Leader Publications, the suit claims the teen was sexually harassed and hazed by members of the football team for nearly two years. In that lawsuit, the boy and his mother claimed the district failed to intervene. Rockwood does not comment on pending lawsuits. All right, let's talk about our weather first forecast this morning. And as you get the kids up and head off to the bus stop, it's not too bad. Actually, this morning numbers are up near 40 degrees. We'll have a mild day today, uh, right about near 60. And in fact, mostly cloudy today. So even with the cloud cover, uh, we will have a mild day ahead. In fact, it gets warmer for him here on out all because of this warm front coming off the Rockies area of low pressure with it. The warm air for us will be felt until Friday. And once we get past that, that's when things start to cool on down. But as the front passes, is by tomorrow. We may get a little light shower out of this in the evening, but you see how very spotty the rain is, so we may be hard pressed to get anything out of the system as it passes on by aside from just gusty winds. In fact, wind gusts tomorrow could top 35 to 40 miles per hour as the front swings on through. So Thursday and Friday are still mild. We'll be in the 60s, but once we get into Saturday and Sunday, the numbers start to come on down closer to average. We also have another rain chance to tell you about on Sunday into Monday, and that system could have a little snow mixed in with it. We will talk about the timing of that coming up in just a few minutes. Well, in a few hours, the St. Louis Zoo is hosting a hiring fair looking for part time workers. The zoo is looking to hire several positions like food service, attraction operators, and parking attendants. The event is at the zoo's north entrance from 4 o'clock until 7 this evening. A new development in the applesauce pouches contaminated with lead. Why some investigators believe it could have been intentional. Going back outdoors, when you'll see the note playing some pond hockey and who will be playing against. It's been such a long time, but like I said, I'm so excited to get back there, get back out there myself. We're excited too. a three time Olympic gold medalist is making a comeback. The major announcement coming from Gabby Douglas. 